Hi, I'm Dr. Ivor Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a Paralab hardware setup with LabChart software and the ADI um, sort of finger pulse pressure device that will actually come with this hardware. So it's fairly simple to use, so let's go ahead and get right to that now. So if you just take this and you plug, so this is a DIN pin connector, and you plug it into whatever channel you want. So I'm gonna plug it into channel one here, because um, that's uh, where I'm expecting to see it in the, the uh, Paralab software. And it'll get a little green light that lights up on the plug when you plug it in. All right, so this little guy, which is the actual finger pressure uh, or pulse pressure transducer, has a little sort of tacky, um, soft uh, side to it, and then the, the other side is covered in Velcro. So get that tacky, soft side on whichever finger you're going to try to measure the pulse from. And what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to wrap this around fairly tight and then get the Velcro to stick. So nice tight wrap, get on there almost as tight as you can. Obviously you don't want to break or damage the device or hurt the individual who's wearing it, but the tighter you get it on, the cleaner the signal is going to look. Uh, you can also do this by, say, if you um, put a blood pressure cuff on, sort of stuff it up into that blood pressure cuff and then inflate the cuff to a, a level high enough where there's nice tight pressure on the arm, that actually will do probably a better job than putting it on a finger, but you just want to make sure that you're not occluding any blood flow when you do that. All right, so now that we have everything hooked up and I'm actually connected with the, the device on my finger, I have the power lab turned on in the back, which is a little green switch in the back. Now we're going to open up the LabChart 8 software. So now it's going to be scanning, looking for the devices, so it's specifically looking to make sure that the power lab is connected and turned on. And you can see here it's got the green check, so it is turned on and it is connected properly. These other ones we're not going to be using, so let's just ignore that for now and go ahead and click OK. Alright, so here we have our different settings files, which you could uh, build this into a settings file, but at the moment I don't have this built in. Um, so let's just, let's just go over here and click on new, which is going to open a new document with no previous settings programmed into it. So here's our document. Um, I have the device plugged into channel one, so I'm going to make channel one really big and just sort of scrunch the rest of those channels that we're not using at the moment. All right, so all we have to do is hit the start button and you're going to see that data is going to start recording. So there it is. There is my um, pulse pressure going into my finger. You can make this a little bigger with these plus signs or this plus sign here, or you can make it smaller, obviously, with a negative sign. Um, and you can see the, the pulse coming with each heartbeat. So you want to make sure that the person who's doing this is staying nice and still and relaxed. So it's probably best if they're laying down doing this so that they're not moving or supporting their own body weight by sitting up like I am. Because if the person moves in any way, I'm going to move my hand now, you're going to see all kinds of noise to that signal. All right, so you want to make sure they're nice and still like I'm uh, now doing again and you're going to get a reasonably clear signal. So this can be used for calculating heart rate, doing heart rate variability. Some people might actually try to use this to do some sort of uh, systolic blood pressure assessments, um, but it's probably not great for that. But you can see that um, the peaks of each, one of, these par of each one of these pulses is going up and down depending on my breathing cycle, which is because it is actually linked to your blood pressure. So, um, I hope that was uh, helpful. Um, again, very quick, very easy to use. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer those. Otherwise, just please come back and watch another video some other time. And uh, thanks. See you next time.